Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir, in the spirit of tonight's evening, I want you to sit however the fuck you want to sit. You, everybody put their legs up under themselves. Uh, it's, uh, it's always been funny with Big Mike, this does not apply to you, because you're a beautiful man. Um, but I always find it funny how guys who like, have trouble getting girls, they're like, yeah, I just can't find a girl in my life. Um, but then the second a gay dude walks by, they're just like, oh, he wants to fuck me. If, if, uh, if they're gay, everybody wants to fuck me. Just as, if they have a pussy, no. But if they're gay, I gotta watch out. I'm just saying, attractive's attractive, no matter what. Um, so you guys ready for your next comic? Uh, this guy is very attractive. For anybody that's wondering, I don't know. <laughs> that's weird. I'm seeing him look at me right now, and he's just like, whoa, this, our relationship just changed. Um, but uh, he is a very good friend of mine. Please welcome to the stage, Chris Fontakis. <laughs> Didn't change that much, okay. How's everybody doing? Yeah. yeah! Yeah! I feel like that last guy really didn't give us a lot of options. I don't think he actually had clean material. <laughs> I don't think you go from shaven stuff to like, Ruth cubes are weird. <laughs> uh, I have a beard. Let's talk about it for a minute. <laughs> uh, it's new. It's a new beard, so I'm like getting used to having it. Uh, and my cousin, uh, he called me, uh, once he found out I had a beard, he called me to, to talk to me about it, because uh, I posted a picture on Facebook, and he didn't even comment on it. He took the time out of his day to call me to insult me about my beard. <laughs> this is what he said. He said, hey, saw your picture on Facebook. Just so you know, just because you have a beard now doesn't mean you're not still a faggot. <laughs> I was like, man, you're a stockbroker in New York in the middle of your day. You took time out to insult me, and you really went the long way. <laughs> um, but it's weird, uh, the beards changed my laugh, which uh, I don't particularly like, but I like the feeling that it has through my mustache when I laugh. It's this very silent, almost inaudible, weird laugh. And it's hard for me when I'm in like your guys' position. Ma'am, I'm gonna use you as an example, and it's gonna get weird for a second. But what I want to show you what happens when I'm sitting behind someone at, at a comedy show, and so someone says something funny, and this is me laughing. <laughs> Just so I could feel the air going through my mustache. That was a long walk to get that half a joke out. I'm gonna lay down for a minute. <laughs> No one's used the couch yet. That guy, the first guy sat down for a minute, but he didn't really use it. <laughs> it's hard to lay on your side as a dude and not look super effeminate. <laughs> this isn't bad. I mean, I'm uncomfortable. Uh, there's only three ways you can lay on your side as a dude, though. Uh, and this is both legs out. That's all right. And this is both legs up. It's getting a little weirder. <laughs> uh, the third way is one up, one down. <laughs> and this is lady pose. Uh, it's super weird. But it's, I like it because it's a tiny hug for my balls. And I'm really confident. Uh, you guys are a sexual crowd. <laughs> Oh my god, I can feel the sex in the room, and it's just creeping in on me. I like to try out new positions every once in a while. Uh, I'm working on this new move. Uh, I call it uh, reverse cow hand. That was a huge dick. I don't have this dick. <laughs> oh. oh my god. As I, as I lay down, I could feel my boxers kind of creeping up. And I remember when I was uh, younger, a couple years ago, my dad... <laughs> what a weird way to segue into this. I remember he said to me, I have underwear older than you. And I thought that was the closest thing you could ever say. Because I know he wears tidy whities and I'm like, how do you keep them white so long? He 
we all make mistakes. <laughs> but as I laid down, I, I could feel and notice that the elastic in my underwear just went. It's gone, it's just loose and hanging there. It's, it's not tight to my body anymore. So if Ben got you excited by saying, I'm a handsome man and anyone here wanted to fuck me, that is gone now. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll be a part of this too. <laughs> I don't like uh, uh, using public bathrooms that often, uh, especially at bars and stuff. Here's okay, no one's in the bathroom here. Uh, but when, you know, there's a couple of urinals and everything, and, and, and you're peeing in there, and uh, you know, some guy comes in and wants to make you a part of his conversation. That really makes me uncomfortable. And because like, it's never anything you want to talk about, you know? It's always like uh, something he was talking about with his friends as he came running in and mildly racist in some way. And he's like, oh yeah, 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 well, I'll see you guys later, right? That's just like a fucking Mexican to say. <laughs> like, oh, I, I, I guess a Mexican would say that. Because you can't disagree with him. Like, what are you gonna say? No, that's not what a Mexican would say, like, and, and, and feed it to his. Hello, spider. Hi. Oh, no, I dropped it on your lap. That's really awkward. I'm gonna leave the last joke and tell you this other thing I'm talking about. I'll get back to it. Uh, uh, my bathroom broke in, how am I doing on time, by the way? Am I good? Yeah, okay. I'll get off in a second. Uh, uh, my, my bathroom uh, broke and uh, 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 I couldn't use my toilet, so I was pissing outside my house for a while. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, I'm out there late at night, and I've got a cigarette in one hand, and my penis in the other. Uh, and I saw a skunk, and it came up to me, and I was like, what do I do? What thing do I, uh, uh, you know, deal with first? <laughs> what do you deal with first? The penis, right? Because <laughs> you're either going to burn it, or get sprayed by a skunk on your penis. Oh, I wish I didn't go down this road. Damn you, spider! You know what I'm All right, guys, I'm Chris Fontaine. Let's have a nice night.